Hey everybody, it's open beta day four and it's Friday. I've actually made a video for every day of the week. I don't know how other YouTube people do that. Oh, jump cuts. Oh. Uh. Well, we're almost done with the open beta. This is Friday. I'm going to take a break for the weekend and then I'll be back Monday to wrap it up. But before we get to the final piece of the open beta, I thought maybe we'd open the floodgates a little bit today and all get out into the world and start leaving comments on some place other than my brand new YouTube channel, which is at youtube.com slash So I think it's important for you guys this weekend to get out there, leave some comments out in the world, come back here on Monday and I'll take a look at them and give some critiques. I mean, you guys should be nicely warmed up, especially if I'm getting comments like this and this and who can forget this one. Then there's this old school classic. Big fan of this one. And it seems like people are kind of starting to turn on each other in the comments section, so I think we've been cooped up a little too long. It's time to show the world just how much full of etiquette we are, which is all the way. I'll show you an example. I think my favorite place to go comment on the internet is Nancy Grace's Facebook. Nancy Grace is a child kidnapping expert, and not a lot of people can say that who aren't in jail. So let's take a look at what her Facebook page is all about. Uh, we got some house rules, those are good to read. Uh, blah, 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 no harassment, blah, 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 okay, got it. Let me just scan this comment section down here for some etiquette and see what we, oh, I don't think that follows house rules. Now, what's important is that you know what not to post here because of the house rules. So let's go ahead and make our comment on this completely public forum. <clears throat> hey Nancy, boy are you a piece of shit. Maybe it's just because I'm shocked at how many people twice my age still take you seriously not only as a news personality, but as a human being. And really that shouldn't reflect on my opinion of you. You might be a totally sweet gal and... Hang on a second, what is this? Oh... Ah, uh, never mind. I just scrolled down a little bit on this page and saw your missing kid quiz. What the fuck is wrong with you, you goddamn psychopath? I don't think it's your viewers' crime IQ you should be worried about. More their ability to speak and feed themselves IQ. Then again, who needs to eat with all the bullshit you cram down their throats? Now let me guess, your Facebook page is important to you because it gets the word out on breaking news that may or may not be covered in mainstream media, and I think that's great. But when I head over to the BBC website, I don't have to skip through quizzes on how many kids got their legs blown off in Yemen today. Furthermore, I'm sure this page acts as a helpful gateway for your viewers to interact directly with the victims and their families. I like to think that if, God forbid, my kid ever went missing, I'd have a uh, valuable resource in this Facebook community, and there's plenty of good folks here willing to help. What wouldn't help is coming back to this website a month later to see a quiz about what river my kid was found in. So email it to me, sister. By the way, the answer to the quiz about the little girl is uh, C. Her door was propped open with a cinder block. Nailed it. P.S. Check out this dude. He's crazy. And cross-examine. An ogre only roars when he's angry. He thinks he's Shrek. You want to see me angry. <laughs> Do it roar. Well, all right. You don't have to actually post here if you don't want to. But... Alright, well like I said, open beta's taking a weekend break. I'll be back to wrap up the open beta on Monday, followed by the very first lesson on Tuesday, how to start your own successful YouTube channel. Uh, hit me on Twitter over the weekend with any of your um, etiquettes that you'd like critiqued. Ugh, oh, I've been holding that in for fucking eight days.